Hey Hunters, Lord here with some very exciting news. As I'm sure most of you know, the fourth trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds was shown at the PlayStation State of Play stream last night, and we finally have a release date. February 28th of 2025 will be the day that we can finally play the full release of Monster Hunter Wilds. Now, as of right now, no demo has yet been announced, but they did say that they will be revealing more information on September 26th, which is tomorrow if you're watching this video on the day that I released it, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. With that being said, I wanted to go ahead and do a deep dive into the new trailer, covering everything that we saw, as well as some new information that wasn't shown in the trailer about Wilds from both a Capcom press release and the actual Wilds website. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now, the trailer opens with Nata talking about the new flagship that was shown today, but we'll talk more about him later. We then get a look at the Scarlet Forest's base camp. This is the Scarlet Forest equivalent of the village that we saw in the Windswept Plains. We then get this incredible ancient forest looking view of the top of the Scarlet Forest, as well as our first look at the inclemency period for this locale. This inclemency is known as the downpour, which is a torrential rainstorm that floods the surrounding area and causes the waters to surge. Now we see our first look at Uthduna, the new apex monster of the Scarlet Forest. Now this chubby guy is a Leviathan class monster that is most often sighted during the downpour inclemency. It uses moisture in the environment as well as its own bodily fluids to create a protective veil around itself. One interesting note is that you'll notice while we're fighting Uthduna, we're in the water a lot. Of course, it's not fully underwater, but we're wading into water that goes up to the hunter's waist. So a lot of speculation about the potential return of other Leviathan monsters and Piskeen wyverns is being brought up in the community right now. Of course, take this with a grain of salt, but a lot of people are expecting to see you-know-who return, but again, not confirmed, but this is pretty cool. Now, Uthduna's moveset has a lot of overlap with Tetranodon with the belly slam that we can see, as well as other Leviathan moves. We can see it doing this huge kind of twirling flop attack that creates a surging wave that the hunter has to mount their sacred to get away from. Now, I assume this is sort of like how you can't outrun the quicksand pits in the Windward Plains without being on your sacred, just in the Scarlet Forest. Next, the inclemency subsides, showcasing this amazing looking period of plenty here in the Scarlet Forest. We get a look at the fishing minigame. They also did say on the Monster Hunter Wilds website that you would be able to do some big game fishing. So I wonder if that means we'll either have special endemic fish like in World, or if that means you can also fish out monsters like you could with Plesioth in older Monster Hunter games. We see some vine climbing with the sacred and a wedge beetle swing with some incredible looking overgrown ruins in the background. This locale is so dope and I can't wait to see what other secrets it holds. Next we get to see some hunters going Donkey Kong style with some barrel bombs on a Lala Barina that's stuck in a shock trap. Then the hunter uses the hook slinger to pull some crumbling ruins down onto Doshaguma's head. Up next is our first look at the new Linian tribe in Monster Hunter Wilds called the Woodwood. They have a hideout tucked deep within the Scarlet Forest, and their design is so unique compared to previous Linians in the series, I think these guys are just going to be a ton of fun. Up next is yet another new monster, the Quematrice. This rooster looking wyvern is a brand new brute wyvern, yeah not a bird wyvern, a brute wyvern, here in Monster Hunter Wilds, and is the monster that the bow showcase armor and weapons was made from as you can clearly see here. Quematrice spreads a flammable substance that it can ignite by dragging its tail along the ground. They can often be found fighting over carrion with other smaller carnivores in the windswept plains. We can also see, as our hunter dies during the fight, that the Palico Vigor Wasp revive ability will be returning in Monster Hunter Wilds, which will help give you an extra cart during your hunts. The hunter is also carrying a new charge blade that we haven't seen yet and it has a much smaller profile than we're used to seeing, so, so far, the weapon styles and varieties are looking good here in Monster Hunter Wilds. We now get to hear the roar of the newly revealed flagship monster, Arkveld, aka the White Wraith. 
This monster has apparently traumatized Nata, who is the mysterious young boy that we've seen in a few trailers now. A sick fight scene between Arkveld and Ray Dow is shown. Notice the chain blade-like whips attached to Arkveld's wings. This is super badass. You can see that even better here on the splash screen for Wilds in the pre-order screen for Xbox. His design is just so cool, I really can't wait to grind his equipment in Monster Hunter Wilds. We then get to see what looks like a parry move for Hunting Horn, which is pretty dope. And all in all, this trailer gave us a ton to look at, but none more important or exciting than the pre-order being live and finally having a release date, again, which will be the 28th of February of next year, just five short months away. Now let's discuss some more stuff that wasn't shown in the trailer, which we got from either the Capcom press release or the official website. There are two units dispatched by the Research Commission. First is the Avis unit, which is comprised of you, the Hunter, and your Palico, the Handler, Alma, and the Smithy, Gemma, and then the Astrum unit, made up of Olivia and her Palico. She can be summoned as a support hunter. We also have the biologist Eric, who we did see back in the third trailer, as well as a new character, the Engineer Werner. These units are being sent out by the Research Commission to investigate the White Wraith, who was previously thought to be an extinct species, but very clearly lives on after its attack on Nata's village. We then get a better look at some of these other major characters that aren't directly involved in our unit, the Avis unit. Starting with Fabius, he is a leader of the Hunter's Guild here in the Forbidden Lands, and after discovering Nata in need of help, he personally took charge of forming the expedition units that are chasing after the White Wraith. He's a former hunter himself and is distinguished among the guild. Eric, who we've seen in the last two trailers now, is a renowned academic that specializes in biology, and Werner is a physics and engineering specialist, and he specializes in pushing the envelope of cutting-edge weapon technology. There are three different editions of Monster Hunter Wilds that are available for the digital pre-order, you can see the differences here. The cover art and the Steelbook edition have also been revealed, but there's no information as of right now on how to acquire those. I'm sure something will come up soon where you can buy those. The prices for each version in US dollars is shown here. Pre-orders are indeed available on Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam, so be sure to snag your copy of Wilds now. If you do pre-order Monster Hunter Wilds, you can get a Guild Knight Laird armor as well as a new Talisman. Also shown here are what each pack includes for the deluxe version and for the premium deluxe version. So that's going to do it for this one guys. I hope you guys are just as excited for Monster Hunter Wilds as I am. I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that they'll give us a demo date in the next stream or at Tokyo Game Show because I literally can't wait to get hands on with Monster Hunter Wilds. If you did enjoy today's video be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to never miss another upload. This channel will be the best place to find Monster Hunter Wilds news, sets, guides, and much more once the game releases. We just broke the 19,000 subscriber mark yesterday, so let's try to get to 20,000 before the new year. I want to thank you guys again so much for watching this video. I wish you all a good day and happy hunting.